In a world not so different from our own, where extraordinary abilities often define individuals, a new and sinister threat had emerged. It was a monster unlike any the world had seen before. A creature born of dark magic and ancient curses, it was known as the Infernal Infestation. This malevolent being was a conglomeration of grotesque insects and arachnids, an unholy amalgamation that threatened to engulf the world in darkness. News of this monstrous menace quickly spread across the globe. Governments, once skeptical of the existence of superhumans, now turned to them for help. They knew that only the world's heroes could stand a chance against the infernal infestation. The heroes came from all corners of the earth, each with their unique abilities, powers, and backgrounds. There was Apex, a superhuman with incredible strength and the ability to fly. Nightshade, a master of stealth and shadow manipulation. Pyro, who could control fire with a mere thought. Aquatica, a hero capable of manipulating water in all its forms. And many others, too numerous to name. The heroes gathered in a secret underground facility, a fortress of advanced technology and mystic wards, where they would plan their attack against the infernal infestation. Among them was Captain Valor, a seasoned hero with a storied past. He had seen many threats to humanity but knew that this one was different. We've faced formidable foes before, Captain Valor said, addressing the assembly of heroes. But the infernal infestation is a challenge unlike any we've encountered. It's spreading like wildfire, consuming entire cities in its wake. We must put aside our differences and work together to eradicate this menace. The heroes nodded in agreement, their determination palpable in the air. They knew that failure was not an option. The fate of humanity rested on their shoulders. For days, they trained and strategized, honing their abilities and devising a plan of attack. They studied the infernal infestation's patterns, learning how it moved and where it was most vulnerable. They knew that the source of its power lay in a dark and foreboding forest, where ancient curses and evil magic festered. With their plan in place, the heroes set out for the heart of the cursed forest. The journey was treacherous, with the very trees seeming to conspire against them. But they pressed on, driven by their unwavering determination to save humanity. As they reached the heart of the forest, they confronted the infernal infestation. It was a horrifying sight, a swirling mass of writhing insects and arachnids, their dark energy palpable. The battle that ensued was epic, a clash of powers and wills. Apex and Pyro worked in tandem, creating a fiery tornado that engulfed the creature in flames. Nightshade used her shadows to blind and confuse it, while Aquatica unleashed torrents of water to weaken its defenses. Captain Valor, at the forefront of the battle, used his leadership and strength to rally the heroes. The battle raged on for what felt like an eternity. Heroes fell, injured but not defeated. Yet, they never wavered. They knew that their cause was just, and they would not rest until the infernal infestation was vanquished. Finally, with a collective effort, the heroes found the creature's core, a pulsating, dark heart at the center of the swarm. With one last, tremendous surge of power, they struck at its heart, shattering it into a million pieces. The infernal infestation let out a deafening scream as it disintegrated into nothingness, its curse broken, and its dark magic dispelled. The heroes had won. Exhausted but victorious, the heroes returned to their underground fortress. 
They knew that their battle was just one of many they would face in the future, but they also knew that as long as they stood together, humanity would always have hope. The world's heroes had proven that when the forces of darkness threatened to engulf the world, the light of their courage and unity would shine even brighter, eradicating any bug of a monster that dared to threaten humanity. Months had passed since the world's heroes had triumphed over the infernal infestation. The world had begun to heal, cities were rebuilding, and hope had returned to the hearts of people everywhere. But the heroes knew that their work was never truly finished, and they remained vigilant, ready to respond to any threat that might arise. One fateful day, a distress call came in from a remote research facility in the Arctic. Something had gone terribly wrong, and communication had been lost. The heroes wasted no time in assembling once more, their bond forged in the crucible of battle stronger than ever. As they arrived at the desolate Arctic facility, they were greeted by a scene of utter devastation. The research station was in ruins, its once state-of-the-art equipment reduced to twisted metal and shattered glass. It was clear that a formidable force had been at work. Dr. Isabella Frost, the facility's lead scientist who had survived the attack, explained the situation. We were conducting experiments on an ancient artifact, one that dates back to a lost civilization, she said, her voice trembling. We believed it held immense power, but we underestimated its malevolence. The artifact, known as the cryogenic keystone, had been activated inadvertently, unleashing an ancient evil into the world. It was a creature of ice and darkness, a being that could freeze entire cities with a mere touch. The heroes wasted no time. They followed the trail of icy destruction left by the creature and confronted it in a remote Arctic wasteland. This time, they were up against an adversary of elemental power, and their abilities were put to the test like never before. Apex and Aquatica worked together to create barriers of superheated steam, melting the creature's icy attacks. Nightshade used her shadows to obscure its vision, while Pyro unleashed torrents of fire to weaken its frozen armor. Captain Valor took point, using his enhanced strength to strike at the creature's heart, a pulsating core of ice that was its source of power. The battle raged on, the Arctic landscape becoming a battleground of fire and ice. Heroes fell, battered and bruised, but their resolve never wavered. They knew that they were humanity's last line of defense. In a climactic moment, the heroes managed to shatter the cryogenic keystone, the artifact that bound the creature to the mortal realm. With a deafening roar, the ancient evil dissipated into a cloud of freezing mist, vanquished for good. Once again, the heroes had saved the day, but they knew that their world was a dangerous place, filled with ancient relics and malevolent forces waiting to be unleashed. As they returned to their underground fortress, they made a solemn vow to protect humanity from any threat that might arise, no matter how ancient or powerful. The world's heroes understood that their duty was unending, that they were the guardians of a fragile world, standing united against the darkness that threatened to consume it. And so, they remained ever vigilant, ready to face whatever challenges the future might bring, for they were the defenders of humanity, and their legacy would endure.